What's up YouTube? It's Brayden and welcome back to another video. So for today's video I'm going to be answering a popular question that I get asked a lot that I get asked through almost every single social media network that I have um, to this day DM snapchat all that stuff and sometimes even on Facebook and in my YouTube comments Um, and I know it's been long awaited that you guys have wanted to know this So I think it's finally time that I actually answer this question So the question that I'm going to be answering today is what I do for a living or what I do to make money What I do as a job as a 17 year old kid in high school I don't want to get anything twisted I don't make like nearly enough money to support like a family to live by myself and like pay bills and live in a nice house and all this stuff obviously not because I'm 17 years old I do make reasonably more money than the average at this age and stuff like that and I just just get that out of the way I'm not I'm not here to brag about this I'm here to just simply say that like this is what you can do at this age as many things that you can do just because you're young doesn't mean you are hindered in doing work and stuff like that I've been working since I turned 16 I've had my first job at McDonald's um, this is actually the fourth job that I've been I've worked at it's easy to get work done easy to get a job at this age um, just got to go out and find the work and do it so to just merely answer the question um, of what I do for a living uh, and then I'll go through the story on how I came to that and where I came from um, and how my whole work story started So what I do like at a base level is I freelance social media for a tech company in Seattle I'm considered their marketing a marketing employee I can sometimes considered a marketing manager because there's not really marketing individuals at this corporation And so I could be considered I'm considered one of the marketing uh <laughs> An executive marketer, some so high, like someone who's a higher position in marketing inside the company. But what I really do at a base level is I freelance social media through companies and stuff like this. And so what that means is when you're freelancing, people hire you to do certain things. And so when I freelance social media, that means companies come to me. I reach out to companies. They hire me to run their social media accounts. So basically, what I do is I run their Twitter, their Instagram, um, a lot of their websites, Facebook. And then every any other digital outreach to to whatever it is on the web that stuff like that and I, I manage that I run that uh, people come through me if they want stuff out there uh, and stuff like that pretty straightforward pretty like easy job it might sound like a lot but it's pretty easy when you're doing this it's not just running a pro, like a, your personal social media account we're just like it's like to just promote what you're doing or anything like that you do if your lifestyle it's uh, trying to attract viewers and and bring an audience to your your company is to gain attraction, gain awareness, and then maybe bring possible po possible new customers in, possible uh, new revenue, which is really important, the whole point of the business. Um, and yeah, so that's what I do. And it's really simple. It it starts, it takes a lot of learning, it takes a lot of learning to learn what it is inside and out of the social media platforms and how to do this, how to do that, and how to do it effectively. Um, and it is pretty time consuming, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, that is what I do at a base level. Now, to get into how I got here, so I didn't start doing this at all. Like when I, like a month after I turned 16, actually before I was even, like when I turned 16, I was going through McDonald's drive-thru and I told somebody, I asked the dude on the window, it said this McDonald's hiring day, and he's like, yeah, pretty much just can you come on this day and everyone gets hired, so that's, and so I did that, and then I got my first job at McDonald's, which I worked for a whole summer, sometime into the school year, um, and then I was I was done, I was ready to just go back into school, stop working at this fast food restaurant, so I was done, quit that job, um, and then a couple months later, I started working at a movie theater, um, just to get some more cash in me because I need I, I just I've always wanted money and I've always wanted money just to be saved and, and be able to spend and support a lifestyle that I want to like you know live as a teenager um, and so I got a job at a movie theater which I, I hated I just absolutely hated that job the only benefit was that I got free movies uh, but the job wasn't nice at all I wasn't trained in anything I just was told here to do this um, and so I had to learn on my own it was it was really just not just not who I wanted what I wanted to do and so uh, then I went out and got a dishwashing position. I know not fun, but it paid really well. And so I started dishwashing um, long hours, seven hours up until wait until the night. It was still on school nights. Um, I dishwash up until 10 o'clock at night at this Italian restaurant, high-end Italian restaurant. And Italian food is hard to scrub, so it was not an easy job. Cheese would get stuck on the things. Pans are hot, like business is flying and stuff like that. So I have them sitting there constantly washing dishes. I don't get, I never got a single break when I worked there. Had to clean the bathrooms. Really terrible job, but got some good money out of it. So that was the benefit out of that. And then going into summer, I really, I wanted to get into an internship. And um, I was, uh, just trying to think about what I was going to do. My brother had an intern at my brother's, my dad's office, but I didn't want to just be like a coffee run intern um, for the company he, my dad owns. I wanted to be more of like someone who was like impactful into the company. And so I was like trying to think of what I could do for the company. Um, and then one day me and my dad were going to head out to LA to go tour schools. And we were in the airport and I was looking like, 
how I was watching these things on TechCrunch, like how it's, social media is a big impact for companies. And I was like, oh my gosh, I know no one is now running my dad, this company that I was gonna infrastructure for my dad's company, their social media. Why can't I do that? So I told my dad, we put, I put this whole business proposal together, what I'd be doing. Um, and then I got hired as an intern at that office um, and making hourly wages and stuff like that. And then basically I can move this, move this to other companies and reach out to a bunch of other companies connected around the area and be like, yo, um, do you need me to do this? I'll oh, bare minimum of like, say a thousand dollars a month. You could pay me to run your social media accounts and boom, 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 boom. Long story short, um, how I got into it was really just like researching and finding ways that I could be more impactful into a company rather than just a coffee run intern. Um, and I found something useful of social media, which is really hot right now, which is really important in businesses. I learned a lot about it. I studied, um, I've been on social media by myself, but I never really knew how to run a professional account. I always knew how to run a personal account, but I did my research on how to like, when is the popular times to upload, how to gain attraction, how to gain followers, how to get rid of your ghost followers and stuff like that. And it turned out to be really successful over the summer. I would work five four to five days a week 12 hour days sometimes um as an intern i'm not working a solid like 12 hours in a row i'm like taking breaks here and there and i'm also doing more than just social media i'm testing applications and doing all this other stuff around the office being helping being like an assistant office manager and stuff like that um but now as i'm in school i simply just manage the the content output outreach and in, in social media of the company and companies and so that's what it really that's what it really is and so hopefully that answered your question I know I did more than just answer the question um, but I wanted to tell you guys like how I got up there and that I know to let you guys know that I didn't start there um, and that's just th this is how what I do so I can support the lifestyle I want to live as a teenager. Um, and you know, no YouTube is not my job at all. I don't make nearly enough money to support a lifestyle that I want to live um, off, off of YouTube. Nowhere, I still don't make nowhere near money that I want to make, um, and I don't make enough money to support myself and my family just by myself living where I want to live in a big house like this and stuff like that. So no, I still live with my parents. I still do all that stuff. I have a job. Um, it just happens to be a different job than just working at like a fast food restaurant, but I've done that been there done that I this is my fourth job Okay, I mean I've gotten a little bit of experience here and there and I wouldn't reject if I'm in college and I'm not doing this I wouldn't reject a job like that So yeah, that is what I do for a living and do as a job as a 17 year old kid so Yeah guys, that is all I have for today's video guys Hope you guys did enjoy it and hopefully I did answer your guys question if you guys did please smash that thumbs up button If we could reach 20 likes on this video that would be simply amazing And it let me lets me know that you guys want to keep watching my videos and you like videos like this and like me and your guys' questions or just talking to a camera. And yeah, make sure to follow me on all my social media links, Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. Those all be down in the description box as always. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and that little bell by the subscribe button so you guys can be notified when I upload because I am uploading pretty frequently, I would say, videos, um, at least two to three videos a week, which is nice. Um, and yeah, I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys next time with another new video. Peace out and munchies. <laughs>